Hi everybody, my name is Damon and you're watching Mom Swap. The show where we take two families, swap the mums for a week and see what happens, yeah! We're in first century Palestine this week and we've got two families. The Smiths and the Jones. Let's see what happens when we mom swap. Mrs. Smith over at the Jones household is having a few problems with little Zephaniah. He won't eat any of her cooking. He won't eat any of my lentils. I don't like it. It's too dry. My other children love it and you'll eat it. Well, can I at least have some water? No, you'll eat it. Come on, eat it now. That's a good boy. Come on. Put that in your mouth. Come on. <laughs> Meanwhile, over at the Smith household, Mrs. Jones is having just as many issues with little Obadiah. He's not tidying up his toys. This place is a pigsty, Obadiah. Clean this up right now. No, no. Yes, you'll do it right now. Whoa, no. What are you doing? No. Stop. No, stop it. No. Ah, stop it. No, ah, stop it. You're making it all messy. Stop it. I, you should not do this to your mother. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> they don't look like they're doing too well. We'll go back to those guys in just a minute. But before that, we've heard that there's been some more mum swapping going on in the area. Let's have a read and find out what's been happening. Over to you, Miles. Jesus' mother stood near his cross. So did his mother's sister. Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. Jesus saw his mother there. He also saw the disciple he loved standing nearby. Jesus said to his mother, Dear woman, here is your son. He said to the disciple, Here is your mother. From that time on, the disciple took her into his home. What did Jesus say to his mom from the cross? What did he say to his disciple? Welcome back to Mom Swap. We found Mary and this guy John, who's the disciple that Jesus was talking to. Guys, what's going on? You two are mother and son now? What happened? Didn't you hear? They killed Jesus. They killed my son. They crucified him right in front of me. And me, my best friend, dead. I miss him already. Oh man, that's crazy. But what's going on with you two? Well, Jesus was always such a caring boy. He never forgot about me, even when he was busy. Me neither. And even when he was on the cross dying, he didn't forget about me. He wanted to make sure I would be looked after in my older years. And so he told John here to do just that. He said to me, here is your son. Jesus never forgets the people who love him. Today has been the worst day of my life. But even while he was going through all that pain, Jesus still looked after me. He still understood what I was going through and helped me. That's incredible. He must have been in such pain, but he still took the time to care for you. What about you, Jim? It's John. It was the same for me. Jesus didn't forget about me on the cross either. He knew how much I'd miss him. And he said to me, here is your mother. Now I've got someone to look after, and someone to look after me. Jesus never forgets the people who love him. Oh look, it's Nicodemus. Hi, Nicky. Hey, John. Hey, hey. Who are you? I'm Damon. Who are you? Well, I'm one of Jesus' followers. 
Me and Joseph have just buried Jesus. You know what? I've been doing some reading. In the book of Ezekiel in the Bible, God says this about Jesus. I will place a shepherd over them. He will belong to the family line of my servant David. He will take good care of them. He will look after them. That's, That's just like Jesus. Jesus! It sure does. Right up to his death, Jesus was taking good care of us. Even in such pain, Jesus was looking after us, not forgetting the people who love him. Wow! Jesus sounds pretty great! I wish I had someone who cared for me and never forgot me, no matter what they were going through. You know you can, Damon. We're still Jesus' followers, and we trust that he still cares for us, even though he's not here anymore. But he's dead. Maybe, but we trust that somehow he still hasn't forgotten us. Hmm, okay. Well, I guess we'll stick around for the next few days and see if anything interesting happens. John, enjoy your new mom. That's our show, folks. Over to you girls to finish. Dear Lord, thank you that you promised to always take good care of your followers. Thank you that you look after us. Thank you that even when you were on the cross, you still showed us how much you care for us. You showed us that, most of all, by dying on the cross for us. Help us to never forget that you never forget us. Amen.